Clare Hockey. The presiding officer, to ask the Scottish Government what it is doing to ensure that new built housing estates are able to access fast fibre broadband internet connections. Cabinet Secretary Fergus Ewing. Uh, presiding officer, despite telecoms delivery being a reserve matter, the Scottish Government has taken steps to assist with rollout of broadband during housing construction. From the 1st of January this year, amendments to the Building Scotland Regulations 2004 set a standard for in-building physical infrastructure for high-speed electronic communications networks. This enables easier installation of fibre at any time on or after completion and applies to new homes and other buildings. In new build developments, where there is a commercial demand for superfast broadband, we would expect that this would be delivered commercially without the need for public funding. Claire Hockey. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for that answer. I have been contacted by numerous constituents in the Newton Farm area of my constituency regarding poor broadband speeds that they are able to access in their homes. Most of the area is new build housing and the estate continues to expand. Developers have not provided the infrastructure to allow residents to access reasonable broadband speeds and there appears to be no onus on developers by local authorities at the planning stage to ensure infrastructure is adequate to deal with the demands on internet speeds. Can the Minister uh, advise me uh, what the Scottish Government is doing to ensure local authorities take connectivity needs into account when approving housing developments? Camera Secretary. Uh, well, the, the planning system cannot require delivery of infrastructure by third parties. That's not what it's for. But it does encourage developers to agree with infrastructure providers to build in coverage and capacity new developments. And as I've said, the building standards applicable from this year basically require that physical infrastructure is in place. And that's usually ducts or cable trays in buildings ready to receive fibre or cables for broadband for new single and multiple occupancy buildings. Planning officer, last week I raised this with the chief executive of BT Openreach and the senior, the top uh, officer of BT in Scotland. I urged them to go further than their pledge at the moment, which is uh, to enable connection to uh, fibre broadband for developments of uh, 30 or more houses. I asked them to go further than that and consider developments of under 30 houses, uh, and they told me that they're giving sympathetic consideration of that. So uh, the Scottish Government is very much pressing for further progress in addition to the higher regulation that we introduced at the beginning of this year designed to help uh, the members' constituents and other constituents around the whole country. Morris Golden. 